the Spyderco Maximant family. It's a video I was gonna do probably when I started sometime, you know, I think it was in April or May of last year I wanted to do it, but uh I had bought these three knives, the Manix 2 Lightweight, the Native 5 Lightweight, and the Para 3 pretty early on, I think a couple of years ago. And I meant I was going to get the pair of two when it was out, and I ended up getting, because it was a production model, I ended up getting something else. And then they stopped making them. I, I think they ended up having a problem with uh, some of the blades warping. I don't remember exactly what the story was, but, you know, I just had these for the longest time. And then they started dropping them again a few months ago, these, especially, and they were being sold out pretty quick. You know, they're just dropping them in small batches. And then people are buying them up, you know, as soon as they're, you know, on the website and they're gone. So this is the uh, data sheet from Carpenter. I'm sure everybody's seen all the maximum inf information out there. It is the king of the production steel. I think besides some custom makers, I think Spyderco is the only company that's currently producing models in it. I think ZT tried in the beginning, but had some major issues with it and stopped. But, uh, you know, if you look at the makeup of it, the whole thing about Carpenter Design Maximate, uh, you know, it's meant to bridge the super high, hard tool steels to the cemented carbides. The cemented carbides are great for tooling and cutting other tools, but they're brittle and they're not as tough. And the cost to produce them is very high. And I think that's kind of a real quick summary of why Maximate was designed and shows all the different... Uh, I got this off the website and I put knives at the end here. Most of the Spyderco Rockwell is coming up around 66 to 69, I think with 67 and above, pretty much the norm. The Native 5 Lightweight, both Lightweights are in stock pretty much all the time. So all the same vendors are MAP 175. This is Fern Fiberglass Reinforced Nylon, where the... Um, Where's my Manix 2? The Manix 2 lightweight is fiberglass reinforced core polymer. I'm not quite sure exactly what the difference is between the two. It's probably not much. Uh, that's 203. The paramilitary 2, when it's in, is 217. And then the para 3 is 206. The, I bought a couple of these in the beginning, and this, these are the ones I've been, the uh, Para 3 is the one I've been using a lot, and it's just an amazing steel. I haven't done anything, you know, crazy with them, um, cut into wood or anything like a big brown bear Sean has done, where he's, he's showed, you know, how tough it is by, you know, chipping into brass or uh, other material. I have seen pictures online of guys breaking the blades. You know, they break right here on the spider hole. I don't know what they've been doing with them. So, uh, you know, it isn't as tough as 3V. It's not as tough as even some of your uh, just standard stainless steels, I don't think. But it is a great EDC knife. I mean, this knife, you know, will cut and cut. It'll probably last you a lifetime. Not that S110V wouldn't either, but, uh, you know, there's countless videos out there showing the edge retention of Maximin. So I'm not gonna get into total uh, review of the, the steel. I just wanted to show the actual family. So this is the newest one I just got in. I haven't even changed the clip on it yet. The Native 5, lightweight. And the uh, Manix 2 lightweight, all in the gray. That's the production, just like the Blurple is for the S110V. A couple people asked me if, you know, this, I had a couple people from overseas or whatever email them, asked me if the Manix 2, they watched one of my older videos, I think it was on the Sprint Run with the Burl G10. The It, it uses a ball bearing in here, and yes, it's kind of similar to the access lock. It's, the way it works is a little different, and yes, you can open it and close it with... You know, it's a little harder to pull. The spring's a little harder, which gives it a better detent in my opinion. You know, I have strong fingers, so it doesn't really bother me. But, um, you know, this, this is, these are just smooth knives. This one hasn't been used, so it's still breaking in. But once they break in, they are just very, very smooth. 
you know, the Manix 2 lightweights, just the Manix 2 in general. So all the native fives have been coming with great tolerances. They're made to go down and stop on your finger. That's the easiest way to, to close them. Very smooth opening. You know, you can also do it like that. Of course, the pair of three. This one's just about drop shut. Not that I particularly like the, the blades like that. I like a little bit of resistance on them. It's got the Lynch clip, you know, deep carry clip on it. And then the pair of two. All perfectly centered, you know, great quality. So um, I just wanted to show these, the, the family all together. I don't know if they're ever, everybody's been asking about a military. I don't know if that blade's going to be too long, you know, for... Spyderco to make a maximum. I don't know if it would be beneficial even with something that long. I, you know, that's well, I don't have enough experience or knowledge about it to know, or even the native chief. But it would be cool to see a little native with maximum. I mean, I use a little native a lot to break down. Uh, I mean, it's just like a, even though my hands are large, it just with that forward choil, it's like a, I call it the Spyderco uh, box cutter. It's just a beast going through product. You know, with the leverage you get on it with such a small little blade and the handle. I don't remember if this came in every box, but this is a uh, it's kind of cool. Spyderco puts a Maximit, you know, information sheet on there. Talks about how Carpenter designed it, you know, to roll other steels and to cut other steels. So it talks about, uh, you know, it gives you all the info that I just kind of went over. Shows you the composition, and it talk, you know, talks about uh, how Spyderco was one of the only production companies in the world that's been able to uh, actually use it properly to make blades. So the Spartaco Maximate family with gray G10 on the two, the paramilitary two and the pair of three, and then fiberglass reinforced copolymer on the Manix two and the fiberglass reinforced nylon fern on the native five lightweight. 